Hi, hello, welcome and welcome back to at another episode on your favorite Little's Law YouTube channel. So today in this video, we are going to see how to schedule a JMeter test in Azure Pipeline and GitHub. So the question basically is to have the uh, JMeter script in GitHub and we are going to integrate that with the Azure Pipeline and we are going to run a test. And uh, thanks again for asking this question. And in fact, this is one of the Excel sheet which I'm uh, uh, using for collecting the questions from our subscribers. So in case if you have any questions, please do ask your uh, question um, in the Excel sheet. And I'll try to answer because most of these questions are already answered and some of them I'm working on it. And since this is uh, a kind of a high prioritized one, so I have uh, answered, I'm going to answer this question in this video. And uh, before we move on to this video, this is me, your son Shanmugam. I welcome you all to Little Sly YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Like the video, uh, ask your questions, and uh, your, just add to, tell me your feedback in the comment section and share the video with your friends. And uh, yeah, so now let's go to the video. Uh, and here, uh, let me come back from the beginning. So here I have created a project. This is the project which is GitHub with Azure DevOps and I'm going to the pipelines and uh, the releases. I'm creating a new pipeline. And when I create a new pipeline, uh, it will ask for a template. I'm closing it. And then I'm adding the artifact. So artifact is something uh, which is your repository. So here we have Azure repos. In case if I have the project in my um, Azure repos, which is this same particular repo, I can select this. But in our scenario, I'm going to use the GitHub, right? So I, I've chosen GitHub as my artifact, and I'm going to connect to the artifact. And for that, uh, I'll have to create, establish a connection between my Azure DevOps and the GitHub. So I'm giving the connection name as GitHub, and uh, I'm going to create a PAT token. So for that, I'm going to the GitHub Access, and here, if I select the settings, under the settings, I have the developer settings and then under the developer settings I have the pad token and I'm going to create a token for me which is going to be the generate new token for, uh, classic for general use and I'm going to use the password so now I'm going to create a token and this can be like any, any amount of uh, day you can set it up for me. In this case, I'm going to just give uh, a 30 days of expiration time. And it's going to be easy DevOps underscore integration. And uh, I'm giving the scope, so which is full control of the private repo. Access commit status, access deployment status, access public repo, access repository invitations, read and write security DevOps. And in case if I want to use my workflow, I can use it. And if in case if I want to read, write or read packages, I can use it. I think that's enough. And coming back to the end, I'm generating the token. So here I have got the token. I'm copying it. And coming back to the workflow, sorry, the DevOps pipeline. And let me give the pipeline here, sorry, the PAT token, which is personal access token. And when I click on authorize, so now my GitHub is integrated with my Azure DevOps. So now I can um, see all my uh, repos. So all these repos are inside, are from my GitHub repo. So I can connect everything. So let me choose my uh, JMeter test. So I think this is one of the, let me just check it out. Let me go back to my uh, repos and then let me check my repo, JMeter test, and let me see which script I have. Okay, I have multiple scripts. So in this case, we can use the uh, badge of testing.jmx for this example. So what I'm going to choose is I'm going to choose the JMeter underscore test as my repo. And here it will ask for the default branch. So here I have main as my default branch. So I'm going to choose main as my default branch, and then the default version is going to be the latest from the default branch, which is the main branch. I'm not making any of the changes. I'm click on add. So my artifact is being added here. So which which means um, 
I can pick up the JMX file from this location. And now moving on to the stage. So let me click on the stage. We all know what to do in the stage, uh, which is we're going to click on empty job and I'm going to add the task. So first thing, we're going to add a command line tool. So a quick thing, uh, firstly, I have to add a JMeter job. So that will actually install the JMeter. So let me add the JMeter and let me drag it to the top. So now it's going to be the JMeter as the first installer. And then the second is going to be my command line script. And then finally, I'm going to add the upload release artifact. which is the publish site publish release artifact. So now we have all these three. So now let's move on to the uh, install file. I'm going to use 5.6.3 as my JMeter uh, script version, same here. Then the control options, output variables, and then coming to the command line script. So here we'll have to give the non-GUI mode command line script, which I'll enter it now. And now here I have given the comment, which is jmeter minus n space minus t, which is the name of the test file, which is going to be bad job testing dot jmx. If you can see here, like bad job testing dot jmx. So I have connected it to the pipeline and then minus L, the results file name and minus E, space minus O reports. So that we have given the command and coming to the advanced. So I've chosen the working directory and it's going to be the same directory where we have our script. So which is the GitHub directory. And then uh, there is no other changes which I have made uh, in terms of environment variables or in terms of any output variables. And coming back to the upload release artifact, I have chosen the display name, oh, sorry, which is get uh, populated once I select the uh, linked artifact. So by default, I have chosen this as my location. So that is again the same GitHub location and by that the display name has changed. In fact, if I want to change, I can even uh, change the name of the display. I can even uh, name it as GitHub plus Azure DevOps plus JMeter test. And then uh, I have not made any other changes. So I'm going to save this file and let's see how does it work. So let me create a release. Again, I'm creating it. So now the release one has created and it's queued now. And let's wait to see the logs. So, so far, what did we do? is we have connected the GitHub and the Azure DevOps using the personal access token. And then we have created a release pipeline and through the release pipeline, we have connected the JMeter and we have executed the test and used the uh, GitHub uh, location as our working directory. And let's now wait for a few more seconds to see um, how does the test go? And if there are any issues, we will resolve it. Yes, so then test has been successfully executed and let me download the logs and see what has happened uh, to it. So let me um, extract the logs. And let's see what, uh, I mean, the results of the test. Let me extract this as well. Just want to, I'm just curious to see the results. So that's the reason. And uh, basically uh, it's the same thing. So we are just going to change the repos and everything else works fine. And uh, so we have got the results.jtl file the reports index.html okay so basically we have got 100% failure and it's because it's showing a 500 exception 
occurred which shows a C drive wasn't batch of testing slash backup script dot bat so it's trying to find a file and it shows that the system cannot find the file specified and that's the error so it's nothing to do with the uh, geometry because it's there's a dependency file so what I'll do is let me change the file and we'll do another test and we'll see how does it work and uh, if you want to know the error so this is where i have referred the file and that's why uh, the bat file did not work because this is not able to connect to my local uh, location and that's the reason it through the error so it's been um, referred at different locations so that's another reason where uh, it, it was a reason for the failure so yep it's been referred in several locations so in this case i'm going to use this particular script for my uh, for an example so let me copy this location go back to the code and let's add the file so i'm going to add the file here And uh, the if controller demo dot jmx. I'm opening the file and added the new file for testing. And yep, I'm going to just commit directly to the uh, main branch. So let me check. Yeah, so we have got the if controller demo dot jmx. So let's come back to the Azure DevOps pipeline and going to the releases. And uh, let's edit the release under the task i'm going to change the file name and the file name is going to be if controller underscore demo dot jmx so let's change it and uh, let me save and then i'm going to click create release and this will create a new release and then the release 2 has created and let's wait for a few more seconds to see the result of the test so this is how so once every test gets completed just go through it try to find why this error has happened and try to fix this errors because that's the main thing that will teach us a lot of things so let's wait a few more seconds to see the result of this test and then i'll show you what has happened and like whether it went fine or not yep so we are downloading the artifact the jmeter the installation of jmeter is happening now and once it is completed successfully so just don't believe the uh, pipeline alone just go through the results and see what is happening until the end of the test yes so now the uh, command line script which is the testing has started so here we have got the testing um, in the execution of the jmeter test and uh, yep the test is running now and i believe there is some good results and yep the test is completed so let me download all the logs and opening the file let me uh, extract the file extract all extract stage three attempt one agent job i have my jmeter test results again i'm extracting all of them let's wait for a few more seconds and then the reports folder index.html yep so now we have got 100 percent pass I'm very happy now so i was able to complete the test successfully so this is how you have to communicate or you have to connect or you have to integrate your github with your azure devops and uh, run your test look for any errors and if there are no errors you're good and then yeah one more thing so he has asked for schedule the jmeter test so let's go back to the releases and uh, let me click on edit so here if you see we have got the 
schedule so if i want to make any schedule that just i can schedule the test and uh, i can choose the time like i want to if i want to run it at like five 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 o'clock every day this is something like cron, cron job which we use in the github or sometime so and uh, if i want to run it so i can add the time that will actually keep the test running so i can even set up any number of time like it's not only just one time a day you can run multiple times a day you can keep in keep on running the test um yeah so this is how you can schedule your test and i believe i have i think i've shared almost all the information and then there is the continuous deployment trigger so this i think we have uh see this in a we have saw this in a separate video and uh yep so there are like uh okay so this is something which i wanted to share you so the post deployment condition so in case if you want to uh create some uh, approvals you can choose this option where you can select the users who can approve or reject a deployment to the stage and if you can give it you can either add a group or a person who can review this and only after that review the deployment will happen so you can choose that and uh, in case if you want to define a, any gates to deploy after the deployment uh, evaluate after deployment you can add that or else uh, if you want to do any auto redeploy trigger you can configure the event here so on what event if it is like failed you can do it or if it uh, you want to select any action like redeploy the last successful deployment you can do that say for example if your current deployment fails you can automatically redeploy your last successful deployments and this is something related to your devops i think most of the times this will not help you with your uh, uh, the uh, jmeter but yeah if you're a devops engineer this will definitely help you so i think yeah with that i come to an end so i think i have integrated the github i have uh, executed a successful test and then i have showed you how to schedule the test yep so with that i think i have come to an end of this video so until i meet you in another interesting video it's bye bye from us and your favorite little slaw youtube channel